session 23. This will be the last game session of the Moonshays, uh, Moonshay Adventures. Um, it'll be a short one. I am reducing your guys' charge for tonight because it's going to be a short evening. But it would have been too long for last week. And besides, Mark wanted to play. Uh, so, Fair and this will be uh, Tommy's last one for for a couple months. He says a yep. couple months. You mean it's when your wife allows you to? Basically, yeah. As new baby is coming, that's pretty exciting. We obviously will want to hear when that happens. Yeah, I'll give you guys a few pictures. Yeah few pictures of the of the baby maybe not the birth but the baby would be great yeah you don't want to see yeah. the placenta uh, skip the one. birth <laughs> skip. no no i do not hmm. okay so where we last left off you guys were rushing Cal kazgaroth has been summoned by the black blood tribe um fenton wintlock's spies has told you what kazgaroth looks like because he is a shape changer uh, he looks, uh, he look, he looks kind of like that. Damn. I see the Ooh. likeness, Darren. <laughs> yeah, right. So like a gargoyle that does wait. No, that's, um, that's what, that's a demon prince looks like that too. I can't remember which one other than Kazgroth. <laughs> uh, so you guys have fought your way. The, the armies go around the, of course, you know, this, the, we're just focusing on you because Mass warfare is not really part of D and D, um, or shouldn't be. <laughs> I guess it's a it's a one on one type game, not a five on one type game. Um, so that you guys have correct. yeah. So you fought uh, through a bunch of lycanthropes and some demons, and now you are ready to face off against. Well, you see him there. He is Casca, or some of you see them, depending on where you are. Mm -hmm. So, shall I put you all in initiative and be ready to go? Yep. Yep. You want me to roll separately for the mammoth, Darren? I'll just put him right after you. Okay. I mean, that's really the the best thing to do for uh, flow, um, even if it's not. Sometimes it's a rule, sometimes it's not, but you'll find all the later summon spells are right after, and the reason they do that is for character flow. Okay, Talea. All right. What is he? Um, yeah, so I'm still invisible from the cloak. Um, perfect. All right, so... I'm going to bonus action dash. All right. There, go. Collides, okay. Here. Go there. There you go. And then, um, oath bow for this guy. I'm still going to hide. <laughs> okay, uh, are you actually going to hide? Like a hide check kind of thing? Uh, no, I, I'm invisible, so it's fine. Okay. Uh, so he's going to use a legendary action. His uh, terror is somebody he can... Here's a hint. It's somebody that he can see. Hmm. Uh, you made your save, so no damage to you. No uh, That was his legendary action. So now he goes back to his regular, regular actions. I think he might have true sight. What? The big bad of the campaign is true sight. Unbelievable. Uh, let's see here. That's it. I quit. <laughs> what? There's his true sight. Yeah. Totally OP. This is the only session I get to use my at will invisibility. So. <laughs> Flying up 40 feet. Ooh, I didn't know he could fly. 
They can fly. Got big wings on his back. Let's see if the spell actually works. I'm going to take the dash action, grab some cover behind this wall, and then as a bonus action, I'm going to quaff a potion. The potion is potion of flying, because this guy flies, and that is my turn. song as a bonus action Okay, I'm gonna use a legendary action. It is going to be for terror. All right, go ahead, Agnar. <laughs> okay. Poor mammoth. Twenty-three save is kind of hard. Yeah. So going to dash. I'm concentrating on something. Um, you're concentrating on telekinesis. You said in your effects, though, the source. So. Um, alright, well, not anymore. Guys, 30 feet up. And bonus action. Uh, Trance of order. You're not next to me, Talia. No, I'm not that close. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, it doesn't do any damage to it. Oh, interesting. This dragon has blind sight. Would that have mattered? Uh, it doesn't matter, I guess. Oh, uh, blind sight. Uh, yes. Uh, it does, because there's two of them. There's one there, and there's one here that's just about to do a legendary action on you. Okay. I guess I would have attacked if I had known that, but... Who would you have attacked? The real one. That's okay. Okay, it okay. missed. Give me the save. All right, uh, I'm going to drink potion of speed. And then here. Oops, sorry. That's not what I was trying to do. Oh man, like last time, I saved my sneak attack for a crit and I missed completely on triple advantage. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, back up here. <clears throat> yeah, I'll go back up here. Phantasm Terror is gone. Good. It should be. However, um, it is going to use Phantasmal Terror on the Draconic Spirit, who apparently is immune to Frightened. Oof. That's a lot of damage. And that That's a right very now. high to hit. See, I know when you're flying, <laughs> if you're restrained, you drop, but you're strained because you're in his tail. So that's why I'm saying he doesn't drop. Make sense? Ah. Yes, very much so. Well, I know this isn't going to work, but maybe if I'm really lucky, it will uh, eat up one of his um, saving throws. So it is... Cass. Fourth level. Cass. Uh, I guess I pushed this button. Nope. Uh, nope, that's not quite what I wanted to do because he made a save. I don't know why it automatically made him go away. Because you applied it? That's why? Oh, okay. Just, <laughs> well, usually you just okay. let, it, let him do his thing. Okay, sorry. That's okay. So, uh, yeah, that's my action and I am done. I'm going to use a legendary action. A legendary action is to use my tail. Right. One hit, one left. Go ahead, Joy. Okay, um, Joy is, for a bonus action, she is going to drink a potion of speed. In first edition D&D, &D, yeah. if you drank more than one potion, you get to ro roll on a random table. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. <laughs> So one of the actions I can use on haste is use an object, and I think giving a potion to another person is a use an object, correct? What? I think, I think is that right? 
if you're giving someone a potion as in handing it off, I'm okay with that. If you're actually giving the ability on it, like like giving like someone a healing can... potion type thing, it's an action. Yeah, but it's and it's and you can't use it as your haste action. Okay. Oh, uh, no. Yes, you can. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Because it's use an object is what I would think it yeah. counts under. So I am going to use my haste action to give a potion of speed to Devanit. All right. I thought you were trying to use your free action to give someone a potion. I was yeah. calling yeah. yes on that. But yeah, that's yeah. fine. Oh, I agree. And then um, for my regular action, I'm going to cast Blink. Uh, tell me, do you have 30 feet arms? Oh, he's 30 feet up. No, yes. I don't. You probably need to take that off then. I didn't realize I will remove that. Yep. Okay. Sure and give your potion back. Yes, I'm just... fine. Okay, I just gave myself the potion back. I'm sorry. He um... threw it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Baldur's Gate rules do not work here. <laughs> okay. um, in that case, I'm going to take Dash as my um, haste action and move over here. And I think I have the blink condition on me. Yep, you do. Okay. And that's it. Okay, he just... Oh, he's going away. All right, he is going to move over here. He has a 10-foot reach, but I don't I still don't think he's tall enough. No. He can get drop. Because you so. start at 15, that means you could hit somebody at 25 feet up. Yep. So he is going to take an act. He's going to ready an action. If Kazgroth gets within reach, he is going to attempt to um, knock him down with his tusks. So that would be like a shove prone action. Okay. If he gets within reach. I am going to use a legendary action. The legendary action is to hit with my tail. Ooh. Nice rolls. Okay, so that means uh, if I just remove your concentration, it will remove all the things. And I don't have to worry about it. Okay, go ahead, Agnar. immune to frighten, so. <laughs> oh yes, it already started, did it? All already started. Everything else is working fine. <laughs> I'm going to use a... Oh, no. No, I'm not. I, there's no one within reach for me to use that on, so go ahead. Um, it works a lot the first time. I forgot I rolled that four times. <clears throat> Forget next round.
Okay, whoops. Okay. to use a legendary action is to be used my tail action. Can you actually miss? Oh no. Yeah. Nope, I rolled a four and hit. That's plus sixteen. Go ahead, Talant. Dragon's only got a twenty AC. Okay, so he's going to actually let uh, the dragon go, because uh, he's going to be moving. Uh, this provokes attack of opportunity. Actually, wait. It might not yet. Uh, 20. And then he is going to actually... Yeah, he'll just move to the other side of him, actually. Keep him restrained, because I won't be able to get there. So let me fight. Fist. Fist. Then he's going to let him go and provoke an attack of opportunity from the dragon. Mm -hmm. action. Oh, I don't know why. Uh, because some of the smite spells <laughs> don't work right. Don't properly. work right. Gotcha. And that's my Eldritch Blast going on. Great. <laughs> oh, there we are. Now I'm inside him. Uh, yeah. We'll just uh, do staggering spite smite if it hits. Gotcha. Because, uh, Dumb. It automatically put cover with the trees in a way. <laughs> That's funny, actually. Right. Okay, go ahead with your smite. Alright, sorry. Uh, staggering. I'm already concentrating. Yeah, yes, do it anyways. On, on the same thing, yeah. yes. Yeah, I know. Uh, the target must make a wisdom save. Did it make did. a wisdom save throw? Succeeded. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure that it worked. Second attack. That's going to... Oh, that hits! I'm surprised. And that is my turn. Alright. Now I'm, I'm going, going to, get... to use a oh. legendary action. Hit you with his tail. 
You missed. It missed. Because of the cover. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, all the trees in the way. <laughs> Go ahead, Joy. There's teleporting. Oh, that's the blink landing. That's right. Yeah. I'm going to use a legendary action. It's going to be on the Devaneth. Oh, is it a tail again? Well, he's not going to frighten you. <laughs> that is correct. All right, go ahead, Agnar. <clears throat> I'm assuming there's the trick here, but... Damage, it'll do it later, I'm sure. Yeah. Hey. I'm gonna do grave touched on this one. Okay. As the final blow lands on the fiend, it lets out a wretched howl of agony. The air crackles with dark energy, and the fiend's form begins to dissipate. Before it vanishes completely, it managed to utter a few words, its voice filled with malice and deceit. I am but a pawn in this game, mortals. Kazgaroth, he is not here. He is where you least expect him, the very heart of Carador. The rulers of the Moonshay Isles have fallen under his sway. With those chilling words, the fiend is abruptly pulled back into the abyss, leaving you standing in the aftermath of the battle. The weight of the revelation sinking in. The fiend's words echo in your mind as you realize the true scope of the threat you face. Bum, bum. Did we just get uh, bamboozled? Yes. And this is one of the, this is definitely one of the parts I remember about this adventure. So I was being very quiet. Okay. Uh, um, door. Do, we, do we know where these guys are? You want to um, teleport there? Yeah, we're going to teleport there. Do we want a short rest before we teleport, or is this an immediate thing? I would suggest we just teleport there, but we can... Okay. You guys no, no. I don't need a short rest, but... Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. Where right, are you good. teleporting to? Well... Care Corwell, I think that's the closest to Carador, right? Um, let me look at this thing. Carador is the closest to Carador. But we don't have anything from Carador, right? We've never actually been to Carador. You've been to Carador. Isn't Carador where that wedding was? Yep. Yeah, we have. Oh, I've got a wine glass. It's in the middle of the lake. It's in the middle of the lake. I've got a wine glass, Eric. Oh, I thought that was in Carador. Okay. Yeah, in Carador. Heck, you were in Carador only like a week ago. (laughs) Oh, I thought that was like over here, like on the land on the shore. I thought like. Got it. Okay, uh, yeah. Let's tell the straight to Carador then. Uh, anywhere in particular in Carador? Uh, the the uh, castle, right? Yeah, anywhere the castle. Anywhere in particular in the castle? Where did the you get anything from? Door would be my suggestion. Mm-hmm. The throne usually room? There's, there's usually wards against tele- letting creatures just teleport into a ca- the main place of a, We're not game. just creatures. We are the fucking uh, heroes yes, of the realm. But they won't, <laughs> our spells don't announce this ahead of time. Sure they do. They, once we show up, they'll know who we are. No, I'm saying there may be 
wards protecting the castle. Nah, they're not right, that smart. Let's, let's teleport to the um. Let's teleport to right outside the castle. In that case, I'm bringing my mammoth with me. Uh, so the right mammoth out. won't fit through the doors. Okay. Can the dragon? Right. It's almost dead anyway. The dragon uh, does didn't survive the teleportation. Okay. So you're heading into the castle. Yes. The, yeah. Some of the guards are confused. Uh, aren't you in Moray with the the battle against Casador? Not Casador. <laughs> Kazgarat. <laughs> We've defeated him. I think the 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 leaders have come under his sway. Them damn elves. I say uh, the elven guards inside. pull up their weapons and go. Hmm. This must be a, a trick from Kazgaroth. You are not coming in. I tell them Kazgaroth is inside the castle. We just killed his pawn. Uh, make a persuasion at disadvantage as their hackles are already up from the halfling's comment. Oh, sorry. Can I help him with that? Nothing about saying damned elves in a town full of elves. Oh, you didn't it's... say anything, Todd, so no. Okay. Con controls, right? Control is disadvantage. Okay, that's not working, so I don't know why. When I hold down control, okay, so, so okay, well, there's net 20, and then there's a second one. Oh, I thought you had another nat 20 there. Okay. <laughs> well, they nod towards you as they know that you are the queen's special, uh, special companion. Friend. So uh, she, they nod and let you in. Great. Uh, okay, I do have one question. It was the heart of Calador, right? That the There's no said? L in Carador. Okay, sorry. Carador. To the court? Uh, that's where I would go, sure. I, I like, we should go to the throne room. Yeah. Heading to the throne room, okay. It's like Game of Thrones, right? It's where everyone wants to go. As you step into the grand throw room, the atmosphere is heavy with tension. High King Dared Kendrick, High Lady Olaf, and Fenton Whitlock, the trusted spy master, are engaged in a serious discussion at the center of the room. Or at the end of the room, not the center. Um, their voices lower as they notice uh, your arrival and all eyes turn towards you. Fenton Whitlock, his features twisted in a sinister grin, steps forward. His voice takes an unnaturally cold and commanding tones as he begins his speech. Ah, so the heroes have finally arrived. How delightful. You see, your efforts to thwart me have been in vain. I am no longer Fenton Whitlock, but a vassal for your undoing. As his words hang in the uh, air, sending shivers down your spine, with a sudden surge of dark energy, Fenton Whitlock's body contorts and morphs, Bones snap, muscles expand, and his form undergoes a grotesque transformation. In a matter of seconds, Fenton Whitlock has become a towering fiendish Tyrannosaurus, its scales glistening with an otherworldly aura. With a tremendous roar, it lunges forward, jaws snapping shut around late High Lady Orloff, who falls lifeless to the ground. No! High King Darren Kendrick raises his sword in a desperate attempt to defend himself before he can strike the fiendish Tyrannosaurus delivers a powerful swipe of its regular-sized claw. Not a Tyrannosaurus <laughs> claw. Slicing through the air and ending the king's life in an instant. The room is filled with a chilling silence as the tyrannical beast turns its attention towards you. I will put you guys in here. Yeah, uh, the true resurrection. Um, <laughs> should probably try that after this. <laughs> we could take a day to rest to get that uh, spell, right? I would like to um, have that haste potion, by the way, Joy. Um, well, since we went straight here, I should still be hasted for a few more rounds, I think. Um, yeah, sorry. How long did it take us to get here, Darren? Are we talking rounds, hours, minutes? Uh, or did you already well, advance right. the time? That's uh, right. I did not advance the time. Uh, okay. Let me do that. Okay, go ahead. All right, thank you. So I don't know what's been... Ex uh, blink away is expired. Blink is expired. 
Um, my Blade. cloak, I would have un Haste undone it in the is, backup. Uh, expired. Blade song is expired. And that's it. My blank's still up. Anyone else that I have to go through? Form of the Dread is right. expi expired. Trance of Order is probably expired. Uh, I, I don't know. That's not a buff on you, so. Uh, all right. Everything else looks good. So you're not invisible anymore, Talaya? Well, I, as soon as we're going past the guards, I would put up my hood. Okay. Why is so. Agnar's <clears throat> square like that? That makes me... Oh, because he's in here twice for some reason. All right. I will delete... I have at will invisibility too, so I'll be invisible I at the start. I will remove you from there because for some reason it added you twice. So I'll put you back in there. I'll put you back in the initiative where you were, which was right before Kazgaroth. Devaneth, that's impressive. Isn't it, though? I mean, that's a good way to end the last fight, like, fight of the campaign. A I'm busy zero. making a speech, okay? A <laughs> 0 0.08. I love it. Okay, but, um, it is my turn. It is your turn. So we won't have to worry about the fear aura, right? So, no, uh, as long as you stay close. No, we all have heroes yeah, feasts. Feast. Oh, heroes feasts. Okay, right. Good. I don't have to stay close to you guys. Bonus action. Haste action. Putting a potion of speed on the banner. And then, uh, Thank you. Yes. Did the combat music start? Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. Reload. I am going to use a legendary action. It is to move. Oh. That's a neat trick. I won't have to charge you. You're going to charge me. All right. Go ahead, Drakus. All right, um, so I'm going to heighten the spell. So let's try. He should have disadvantage on the save, so I'm hoping that cancels his advantage. Okay, he makes it. Alright. And bonus action, I'm going to activate this Order of Trance again. Mm -hmm. So wisdom saves are not a good play to go. That's it. I'm going to use a legendary action. It is going to move. Well, it looks like he wants to charge at all, the bandit. Go ahead, Talia. Uh, first off, I will drink a bonus action. Spread out. I have a sense that he might have a fire breath. <laughs> There we go. You're spitting the sneak attack for whenever you can get a uh, crit? Basically, yeah. Nice. <clears throat> so invisibility gives you advantage even if they can't see you, right? That's what you said last time. No, I know invisibility gives them a disadvantage to attack you. I didn't realize invisibility condition gave you 
Yeah, because we did that, like, the last game, you had told me that we get advantage if you're invisible, mm -hmm. even though they can see me. I said that they have disadvantage to attack you. So, I, I mean, I'm going to go look it up right now, but I didn't think that uh, the invisible condition gave you advantage. But let me just take a look. Attack rolls against creatures have disadvantage, oh, yeah, it does. and yep. creatures' attack rolls have advantage. Yeah. So, because there's two... Remember how invisibility is in two different yes. things? Yeah, so there's it, one... It's weird. Well, they're fixing that in the newer yeah. version, but right now it also gives advantage. Okay, never mind, you were right. Go. Okay, I'm going to use a legendary action. It is going to be to tail swipe. You're hitting me on a six? That's just, a six. That's just awesome. And you're not prone, and it's Agnar's turn. I assume these stairs go up to like 10 feet or 20 feet? Sure. Okay. 5, 10, 15. Looks like 15 feet. Yeah. You guys have this, right? You're good? Oh, I should have hit the uh, that one to get rid of the action. There we go. Uh, you, Jeremy Crawford in a podcast had said that yes, that does not negate advantage disadvantage yep. against true sky creatures. Which is weird, but cool, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't think they meant to that when they wrote it. I don't think that was yeah. rule was intended. It's just rules as written. Much so like so bad, it's not a means of clear. Uh, he would normally be yes. Oh wait! Did Agnar not put his name on the uh, on the tree? The tree? What tree? He, 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 was, he wasn't. He wasn't there. That's right. That's right. I got to provoke an attack of opportunity from Agnar. Um, can somebody remind me if I can use the Vampiric Touch attack when someone's moving away from me? I have a Warcaster. I believe that Warcaster allows you to cast a cantrip, but I'm cantrip. not positive. It does, yeah. Any, okay. any spell that targets that creature, not just a cantrip, any spell that targets that creature. Oh, okay. And I have and Vampiric to Touch. Just that creature. Yeah, yes. I have Vampiric Touch going, so. Yes. Surprised. <laughs> I'm hiding behind you, Devanna. Jeez. Tell me it's a reflex save. 114. Uh, do you, oh, 19. With You're advantage, laying down. Fails. Wow. Ooh. No, Darren, I'm, I'm surprised you did a line instead of a cone. Uh, I was basing it off of other Kazgaroth. Um, builds that other people have okay. already. Okay, so I'll apply the damage. Um, I've already applied my damage. Okay. Same. So then I will get rid of the breath weapon. Uh, let me just double check the multi attack. And then how come your guys' hit points are lower? I have 36 hit points. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I still have fly. I move five feet up. I don't care that I'm prone. And I'm definitely um, stopped there. And now I'm pro I'll be using the dash action, so I'll be leaving his area 
Crawling? Uh, out of area. No, I'm not crawling. I'm flying. Oh, okay. You're flying prone. How come I don't have? It looks like you're prone. He's off he is prone. anymore. He is prone. Yeah, he's but flying I'm... prone. He's, flying, he's flying, but he's I'm flying on his, on his back. Like Superman, yeah, he's Superman in his way around. You do have a potion of flying on. Yeah, I do, and I do have haste. My speed should have been 60, but for some reason it says 30. Probably because well, you're the prone delayed. condition, so. Yes, right. the prone condition is causing that, yeah. Yeah. Um, also, so... the, the haste doesn't seem to double my flight fly speed automatically, so that it does. Be... It does, did for me. Um, Darren, am I still limited to 30 feet movement? Because technically I'm still prone. Uh, no, you can fly prone, but you're still okay. prone. So you'll get... Yep. Disadvantage and advantage. The all yep. the effects of prone. Um, you can make your attack of opportunity. I'm flying out of his range because I have 120 movement. Uh, excellent. Yeah, a six is gonna hit. Oh man. Uh, and then you get knocked prone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, let's see if I'm even conscious though. Oh, I have ten hit points. Excellent. So that was, uh... Don't if you're knock pro when you fly, you There's hit the ground or something? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. You're only five feet uh, up, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, so I go five feet more up. Yeah, you bounce off the ground. Yeah, he bounces. Yeah. <laughs> and that's about where I think I need to be. Where are you going, Devanit? Well, the <laughs> king is killed. Him. I'm going to revivify him. Yes. It's not the best plan, but I also have like 10 hit points. So, but, so uh, like I, really I am going to use a legendary game. action before you, you Joy goes. But you know, if the king dies and the queen dies, that means the Moonshay Isles will actually be uh, reunited, right? Yeah, he, because he the prince like and the princess will then become the rulers and they'll actually but be in a king, one nation. But it's the king, and I'm a paladin. <laughs> Uh, I am going to use the legendary action to, uh, move, actually. Plus, these guys got the, the big bad. Go ahead, Joy. Rude, I mean, so far away. I'm gonna give you a potion. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. That's fine. But where is the king physically? I'm gonna go over. I'm to guessing where he he's is. probably in this chair where the king would be, or uh, nearby. This is Calador. Cal Calador. So oh, that is that where the queen queens? would have been. Okay. But they were on both sides, right? Yeah. So right. near me, close enough. That's all I care all right. about. Take and dash as my haystack because I don't have quite enough movement to get to you. I'm moving there. All right, I'm going to use a legendary action. The legendary action is going to be to... Nope, not that one. Uh, tail swipe. Oh my god, I rolled a two. <laughs> oh. Still have a shield. Oof. All right, go ahead, Dractus. Whoa! Why is the sorcerer the one that's closest to the dinosaur? <laughs> uh, because the, two, the other two people ran away. Our yeah. little two tanks decided to just bounce. <laughs> um, Alright, bonus action. I'm going to drink one of these potions. Um, I definitely have the most HP. My action. 
I'm going to do another heightened spell. I guess the heightens not working for whatever reason. Um, and then um, for my hasted action, I am going to use the staff of power and I'm going to put a wall of force around me, the hemisphere. Okay. So just a 10 foot, whoops, not that. All I want is just the hemisphere right on top of me. I'm a little behind me, I guess. It's a 10 foot hemisphere. It, okay. It's a dome, right? Over you? Yeah, it's a dome over me. So, like that. Perfect, thank you. And that's it. So you're a soccer ball. <laughs> All right, so he is going to use a legendary action. Please say you Can't he down kick the, you with it? I'm pretty sure he can. Well, it's a half dome above me. The dome's not going to move, right? Oh, is it? <laughs> okay, then. Oh, it's only oh, yeah. a half a dome? Can, he can totally hit you, then. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, he's going to go underneath the dome through the, uh, through the floor and uh, hit you with the tail. Yeah, burrow speed. Arrow. Oh, Fuck around and find out. It's not gonna help. I thought it was a ball. But... Well, that would have been funnier. All right, go ahead, Talia. use of that ability. Yep. Oh, it's a dome or a spear. Legendary's actions back. I get my breath weapon back. Uh, I am going to use my breath weapon. Half my movement to not Superman fly. Okay. <clears throat> um, wherever the whoever's on this side, sure. I stand beside them, and I do waste. Well, kind of wasting, but I revivify them. I do have the diamond. Okay. You save the king's life. It puts his head back on his shoulders. I'm going you, over here. You gain inspiration. I think you already have it. <laughs> um, and that is the end of my turn. 
Is it though? Uh, it will be. Sorry, I was putting inspiration on. Because it didn't happen. Alright, I'm going to... Oh, you didn't. I'm going to yeah. use a legendary action. The legendary action is going to be to use a tail swipe. And tell the king, hide behind... <laughs> Take cover, I your majesty. missed! Yeah, you did. Go ahead, Joy. All right. Um, action Plus taking 19. one of one of my potions of supreme healing, and I'm giving it to the king, like administering it. So that gives him. I don't have anyone. To you click heal on. him. 10D, you gain inspiration. Ten d four plus twenty, and I'm going to tell him to get into the fight. Then oh, the I'm king's going to get into the fight. Okay. No, Excellent. No, the king should not get into the fight. I just revivified him. <laughs> What if okay, you guys got it? What if you guys got in the fight? I would love so, to, but ten hit points gets me up to him and then dead. Because we could just do have revived him afterward. That is have. my uh, haste action to heal the Vanith with another potion of supreme healing. That I will so, definitely take. Um, and then bonus action. I'm going. Tasha's otherworldly guys. Lower planes. Because that uh, breath weapon sucks. Yeah. Exactly. And. That gives me a. Yeah, that should give me an 80 foot fly speed, but for some reason it only says 40. So. Uh, make yourself 5 feet off the ground. No, that's not. It won't change oh, okay. your character's flight speed. Oh, I see. Okay. So I'm actually not going to fly. I'm just going to run back this way. Okay, I'm glad I can use legendary actions while you guys fuck around with up, up there. Uh, I will use another tail swipe. Miss, miss, miss. No, I missed this time. Unless you shield. Uh, yeah, I don't have that. Alright, go ahead, Dracus. Um... Can I cast Meteor Swarm in this room, or is this uh, unrealistic? I, I don't know. You read the spell. I, the spell you does not state you have to be outside, as far as I know. No, it doesn't. It just says fireballs plummet to the ground. There you go. All right. Well, it's just going to be in this court. I mean, it's going to totally wreck the interior of here, but that, that's, that's okay. someone else. That's someone else's problem. I'm going to transmute uh, from fire to thunder, just in case fire breathers in the room. Good plan. Thunderballs. That should have been thunder. It doesn't matter. There are no resistances, right, you guys? That's why you carved your name in the Yesterday's right. Child. Yep. Um, and I'm going to stand up. And bonus action, drink a potion. You have Kazgaroth targeted right now. Oh, thank you. Do you want to get out of there, Dracus? Um... Your dome's not really helping you lots at all. Of hit, you got lots of hit points now. Yeah, the dome's not... Well, the dome... In theory, you can only hit me with its tail. Alright, I'm going to use a legendary action. The legendary action is going to be a tail attack. It's going to be against... This guy. More Give me damage. another turn. Go ahead, Talea. Okay. Mm. 
Oh, that's what happens when you wait for that crit, eh? Oh, wait, you yeah. have another one? Oh. That's oh, but I have inspiration, so there's that, too. <laughs> oh, well, I'll take the 15, I guess. <laughs> Little extra or something. Little something, something? Yep. I have no more budget reactions. Oh, it was a very rooted set of circumstances for me. You got this, I'm not. Making my hasty skidoo. <laughs> All right, wizard. It's yours now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm going to do redo this again for some temp hit points a measly amount see Dragus now all I have to do is, is uh, you know dodge and you're now the new paladin oh look fire breath he wouldn't. Oh, he certainly is going to try. He wouldn't. Oh, yes. <laughs> but not me. I thought it was me. Incinerating the king. I am... Link the king's out. off on the other side. Uh, before I take it, I'm going to use my inspiration and try to reroll. Oh, okay. I'll undo that damage then for now. Right, and then I will push and push and saving throw and hope for a 20. Uh, that is uh, unsuccessful. I will reapply the damage. And yes, okay. it automatically puts zero to joy. I didn't realize you were blinked out. That was makes me sad. But uh, it's the way it is. That's just the way it goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one is bad, and I'm done. Do you want to fall to one hit point with the book instead? Oh, was that an option? Because yes, I would have. Yes. It's the, it's the okay. book. Uh, it's, no, okay. right. it's kind of late. You know, saying yeah. stuff like that. He's already rolled. He's done his turn. Um, That's we'll fine. to make it fair. We'll just wait till my next turn, and then the book was a little slow. Sure. No, nope. you're you're good. I think. I think you're in range. You're good. Um. Well, isn't it Agnar's choice whether it comes back? So then he didn't. He, he was too slow. Yeah, on that. Yeah, it's fine. That's it. He was too slow. It didn't work. Too busy laying on the ground over here. You're mad at me because I ran away, aren't you? Two of you ran away to do something pointless. <laughs> there's, there's a little bit of healing. That's all I need is a little bit. Oh, I bit. would like to point out that the queen, uh, there's no body left after that plant. <laughs> yeah, Damn completely it. There's nothing to revivify now. It's, okay, so Talia's crying now, by the way. <laughs> that was my next action, was try to get her up and then head back to the uh, the big bat. There would be nothing left. Let's no, no, no. Let's... I'm going to try this. I, my guess is it's not going to work. Let's kill the big bad, then we can help these people. Disengage as my haste action. Bad guys need Sentinel. Sentinel on true sight. Okay, uh, and you blinked away, have you? Yes. Yes, it is. All right, I am going to use a legendary action. This legendary action is going to be to move. All right, go ahead, Dracus. All right. Um, I'm 
I don't think you're at the mixer spell. I'm gonna stop concentrating on the wall of force. Okay, I'll uh, we'll leak that. And bonus action, I'm going to quicken uh, Firebolt, just for fun. And for my hasted action, I'm going to use the staff with, or the wand with Charger. My screen blanked out. So did mine. Mine is still fine. Same. I'm just looking for the other oh, is. Can't tell if I'm targeting them or not. Sorry, it's just refreshing so I can target this guy. This guy's been attacked a few times. No. Aha! That will hit. Max damage. Nice. I'm going to use a legendary action. A legendary action is going to be to use a tail swipe. Go ahead, Talia. All right, there's the book. That's the book there. There's the right. book. There okay. we go. <laughs> One day point. And that me? Oh, I was already. You were still prone so. before, so yeah. that, that part yeah. doesn't matter. I can actually heal you, Demanda, but you're so far away from me. My healing is best when you're down. I can't heal you, but it's not very efficient in terms of hit points. I can use a legendary action. Legendary action will be to tail swipe. Oh, you, you saw that, Darren, right? <laughs> Three triple advantages all have failed. All misses. Get swiped. That wish spell you can cast heal heal. Alright, go ahead, Agnar. It's weird that the fiend wants the paladin to stay down. <laughs> All right, I should stand up. The standing up would have helped either of those two rolls. So. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. It helps for that. Zero pop-ups. All right, well, I'm taking my grave touch on that one. Twenty-nine, right? Okay. Shit, I forgot I had action search. <laughs> <laughs> Did that power word stun not land? Uh, just power just, word just... stun says that if the target has 150 points or fewer, it's worked. And if it's over 150 points, it doesn't work. So yes, it worked as intended. Okay, so basically that means he still has at least 150 hit points left. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, I'd love to see it. I just know where I can go. Trapped. Okay, let's see. I get my legendaries back. Hey, this is the first time I have not gotten my fire breath back. Love to see it. Oh. It's in his mouth, and then he's going to try to pick his teeth, so to speak. Uh, then he will spit out the dragon. Because uh, I'm not finished on my multiple attacks yet. Got him. Well, I have. Uh, hold on a second there. Okay. So I'm just putting this in there. And it's not going. Give me one second. I've not had to use this before because I haven't gone down. It's not even letting me post it to the uh, chat. Is it? The hut Necrotic Husk Revival. I Basically, he takes 2d10 plus 16 damage, and I'm only at one health. Necrotic... I need too many abilities. Necrotic Husk. I think there's a search. Necrotic Husk Revival it is a reaction uh, to the... So if I target him, does it work if I use this. Oh, popped up. Uh, and there we go. I rolled the same amount. There we go. So you only have a hit point left. Got it. So there we go. And you shouldn't have any temporary hit I points. deleted it. You deleted it already? Okay. Alright, that was a good turn for me. Yeah. Joy's got something up her sleeve. Yeah, you got this, Joy. Bl yeah, blink landing, by the way, it'll actually teleport you, so. Yeah. All right. Haste action. Uh, apply your healing to that. Have. And I was gonna, I was gonna cast this on you, but actually, 
Agnar, where is he? Actually, I am going to cast this on you, because hopefully Agnar can help himself. Um, oh, my, I'll uh, have to undo the damage for those blasts that just happened. <laughs> I get all the pop-ups for repelling blast. I believe that it's the repelling blast pop-ups that are the problem. Okay. So, I'm using my bonus action to cast Sanctuary on Devana. That leaves me an action left. Run! Run, little joy! Oh, you mean I have to make a wisdom save to hit the Vanith? Oh, that'll be tough. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, it's also a cleric spell, so it's not even my thing isn't even that good. Uh, Joy's gonna take the dodge action. Dodge. You're gonna, we're not going to be able to see you through all those conditions. Okay, yeah, I'm going to use a legendary action. Uh, oh, did you just blink away? That sucks. Uh, yeah, my legendary good. action is going to be beat down on this guy. We're not going to be hard. Any other tricks? No tricks. All right, go ahead, Dracus. Um, I got a crazy idea. What about damaging it? <laughs> <laughs> what if, if I what only if, get I'm just, saving I'm just putting this out there. What if we did damage to it? Sorry, I'm right. unconscious on my turn every time, turn, so <laughs> don't expect much from me. That's why I put Sanctuary on you and gave you a, po a potion instead of just like two hit points. Alright, for my action, I'm going to try to cast the Heightened Spell again. Uh -huh. I'll watch for the dice rolls. Uh, 14 and 6. 6, 12. Uh, 21, so I'll have to use the legendary to succeed on that one. Nice. And then for my hasted action, I'm actually going to try Old Monster from the staff. This is this, on this the staff DC. It uses mine. Oh. Good. The other one was also successful. Um, and then bonus action, quick in a fireball. Alright, I'm going to use a legendary action. My legendary action is going to... I am too far away. All right, go ahead, Talia. All right. Oh, I'm gonna. Isn't it fun? I'm gonna surf my broom down. Okay. So 15 feet, and so I'm back on the floor. Two crits. And let's try this again. Crit surfing. That's what I'm doing next campaign. Crit surfing? <laughs> yeah. Alright. I'm going to use a legendary action. The legendary action is to kill the paladin. Make a will save. I succeed. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was hoping to eat at least one of your legendary resistances. Oh, it rolls it again because I had to do the thing. But okay, oh, it's okay. fine. It doesn't matter. You might not die. 
look at that. You don't die. Wow. He has his, he has his turn after, after Agnar's. Yeah. One to the good. Okay, I get my legendaries back. I don't get my fire breath back. Ah. Uh, Spells the end. Well, I am going to just uh, swing at you with the, uh, with the tail first. That would be that. Well, I'd like to point out you are actually tanking. You are taking a lot of his actions. Yep. I'm oh, sorry. <clears throat> and uh, this dude is blinked away, isn't he? Yeah, okay. Yes. Going is blinked away. Back to our uh, primary tank, the Sorcerer. And uh, I've ran out of moves, and none of my other actions I can reach. So, sucks be me. At least the Paladin is down. <laughs> At least the Paladin is down. <laughs> <laughs> and you crossed the whole board to kill me. Uh, I'm going to use a, no. I don't use legendary actions when people are down. That's right. I never do. Never have. Never going to. I don't think that's fair. So. The upside is Joy keeps absorbing one of his attacks by bringing me back up, or more. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably at this point. I don't want him. Oh, my <laughs> Leave pain. me alone. All I see is darkness, pain, darkness, pain, <laughs> darkness, pain. Get back in the yep. fight, Elf. Okay, well, <laughs> Todd, it's your favorite type of tank. You are tanking and taking actions, and you never have to roll dice. Yes, this is true. <laughs> the best type of tank is one I don't have to roll for. You're doing a good job. Well, I think I've taken over 300 points of damage easily so far. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, Ag Agnar has um, got six, six as, as well, so he should be back up. You have to apply your healing. Alright. I know you don't want to apply your healing. <laughs> I was enjoying the repose. Let's just hope Joy blinks away so that she can do this again next round. Yeah, we just have to make sure Talaya, the only person who's damaged the thing, continues to damage the thing. <laughs> okay, so you have blinked away. I am going to use a legendary action. God damn it. Why are you still up? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm frozen, by the way, Darren, so I'm refreshing. Okay. So I'll wait till you come back before I yep. hit you. Please. Oh, that sanctuary's still up because he hasn't taken any... Offensive I've done action. nothing offensive. You've done I nothing am offensive. Least offensive person. All right, are you up? Uh, just loading. And go. All right, so I finished the actual tail swipe legendary, and let's do the sanctuary. Did I not target the? There we go. I did it properly. Okay, you're not dead. Go ahead, Dracus. Um, he will be by the time your turn's over. Yeah, but that means you guys aren't getting hit. Listen, I, I know. I just would like to see you swing your sword once. <laughs> I have a plan if I roll a 20 on my turn, because I need to roll a 20. Yeah, all get, of a sudden, the massive amount of smites, the <laughs> 200 points of damage in not a round that we've seen that. you. I have I have a slightly different plan. Oh, missile. That's there cheating. we go. Auto damage. Love to That's see it. That's cheating. That's what we oh. should have been doing. Empty your slots with magic missile. That's, that's... That was a seventh level magic missile. Yeah, um, do the awesome. ninth level one next time. <laughs> I, it's I, auto I, damage. Yeah, it doesn't work on a Tarask, I'd like to point out. Okay, yeah. <laughs> there are instances where they know it's cheating. Um, haste action. I'm gonna use the staff. Cast the lightning. Please don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna breeze right by you. 
Don't as the king me, points out, looks out from behind the throne. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I think that off. Thought. He's over on the right hand side, he's fine. He's and Because that's not his throne. That's right. And bonus action, quick and a fireball. All you, Talia. You rolled an 8 and hit Kazgaroth. That's pretty good. Uh, I am going to use a legendary action. It is good night, everyone. Freaking <laughs> kill this paladin. Uh, yeah. Good so I shouldn't bother doing it because it just uh, does it twice, right? Mm. Oh, well. Yes. Um, well, it's supposed to hit anyway. So. Oh, look, you hit. Wow, that's the lowest Just, you've ever rolled on a wizard. Yeah, sword. I know. I was wondering because I was going to say, <laughs> I, I, I don't count the legendary action sanctuary. I only count the actual attacking Oops, one. No, I that button. Which was that there one? Oh, now you're down. Okay. Yeah. Good. Go ahead, Talia. I feel like uh, when he hits this you, is... like, he should fly, like, the person that can sit flies across the room. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like that makes this a lot of sense. It yeah. takes more damage. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you. Shut up. <laughs> Just some Kill notes for, you know, your next campaign of this. That's right. Fling. The, the Kraken's fling ability with the tail. There we go. Off to a good start. Uh, don't want to risk it, so... Next one, I'm going to do it. Presumably you hit. Oh. Yeah. yeah. As the final blow lands, Kasgaroth lets out a deafening roar, its monstrous form convulsing in agony. Dark energy crackles and dissipates, leaving behind a smoky residue that hovers in the air. A profound silence settles over the room, and the party's gaze shifts to the lifeless body of the fallen tyrant. A soft breeze stirs, carrying with it a familiar scent of earth and nature. The room is bathed in a warm golden glow as the Earth Mother herself manifests before you. Her presence fills the chamber, radiating an aura of ancient power and benevolence. With gentle grace, the Earth Mother approaches the fallen form of Kazgaroth, her ethereal form seemingly blending with the surrounding natural energies. Her hands, glowing with vibrant energy, hovered over the creature's lifeless form. In a mesmerizing display of divine power, she channels her essence into Kaskaroth, drawing out the malevolent spirit that once plagued the Moonshays. So it had full hit points and attacks you again. No, I'm curious. Uh, a soft, <laughs> melodic hum fills the air as the spirit of Kaskaroth is absorbed into the Earth Mother's embrace. The dark energies are clean, cleansed, purified, and transformed, becoming a radiant radiant beacon of light within the Earth Mother's being. The weight of centuries of darkness is lifted, replaced by a renewed sense of hope and harmony. As the Earth Mother's radiance presence fills the room, her voice resonates with soothing, soothing power, reaching deep into the hearts of, of the party. You've done well, brave champions. With Kazgaroth's spirit now under my care, balance shall be restored in the moonshades. The darkness has been vanquished and a new era of light shall dawn. Her words echo through the chamber, carrying a promise of peace and prosperity. The Earth Mother's gaze shifts to the party, her eyes fill with gratitude and compassion. You have proven yourselves as true protectors of the land. The Moonshays owe you a debt of gratitude. Remember the balance of nature requires guardians like you, and the journey is far from over. Continue to walk the path of harmony and preserve the beauty of the world. With a final nod of, nod of acknowledgement, the Earth Mother's form begins to fade, her radiant energy slowly merging with the surrounding natural essence. As her presence recedes, a renewed sense of purpose fills your heart, for you have witnessed the power of unity and the enduring strength of the natural world. Congratulations. Um, you guys completed uh, the Moonshade of Hey, I still have my ninth level slot left, so I'm bringing back the queen. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Even yes. though she's an elf. But that's not what I was actually saving that for. What I was saving that for is when I went to buy some things, I bought a scroll of sleep. And my plan was to put Kazgroff to sleep and then use my ninth level spell to bind him so he could be a waiter at the second chance. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work out. 
No. So are you going to reincarnate the uh, the queen into a halfling? Uh, uh, uh. I'll, I'll make her an elf with brown ears. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm weaving that into my um my wish. Oh, yeah. That her ears are clipped. Well, guys, I Even hope though- you enjoyed the campaign. I yeah. was, if I ever had a chance fun. to hit him, I was going to use this. Of course you were. <laughs> banishing Smite. Because if I hit him and bring him 50 hit points or low, lower, he's banished. No saving throw, no nothing. It yeah, just but all you're doing then is prolonging it. No. Yeah. Him to come because back the, again. Well, yeah, eventually he'll come back again, but I'll be dead by then. This was, <laughs> well, the whole not... purpose was to finish him off for good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, good. I finished them off. <laughs> I'm I have a lot of points left. I'm thinking I know his name and I want to bring him back again. I mean, he would be he really exist. helpful. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> exist as he was. He was absorbed into the Earth Mother. That's right. And the spirit was banished. That was Kaz- Kazgaroth. That's I right. remember. <laughs> it was in the description. <laughs> can I try a hypothesis? Has Joy gone demon enough that I can plane or bind her? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, she has. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> uh, uh, recommendations, Darren. Um, yep. If you build like a, comp- a compendium, uh, maybe do like a um, a, an, a, an extra ad- a cha- a chapter or adventure for each level. Um, if they want to have a longer campaign, we did this fairly quickly, which is ni- nice. I liked it, but I think if people wanted to explore this area more, have like a an, another adventure for every level, so that you're you know a certain level for you know three or four weeks or whatnot. Man, it's already a twenty three game <laughs> session campaign, right? Which is fairly quick considering, right? Like Not one to really. twenty is no, <laughs> no. Uh, no. Twenty okay. is how what normally it... it happens, but uh... how long did your um? Uh, doomed Forgotten Realms last twenty or nineteen or something like that. Not and they went to what like level? Twenty. Yeah, so that seems about right then. Well, he started it's... at third level, but that's the yeah. Only, but the first couple the levels difference. don't really matter, anyways. Yeah. Well, in this campaign, it did. Yeah, I know. In uh, this, so <laughs> my point that I was trying to make is, yeah, you seem to be dead on for how long campaigns normally last. Yeah, that's why it's another compendium, right? Like, like like an add-on, not like not part of the original source material. Yeah. So my, so my thing is this: in the mid levels, you could add more content, but by the high levels, you don't want more content because no, it's you like you you wanna you wanna get done. I mean, once you hit like sixteenth level, it's like, oh, I love the campaign from the last five levels. So don't take this out of no. out of context. But you don't wanna spend a lot of time walking the ra- around the world as gods. You want to like get get your shit done and move on to the next I campaign. don't know. I, I like, I like the god idea. Play, <laughs> play as a yeah. high level character for once in D&D. Yeah. Well, the I, uh, love, I mean, I 23 uh, CR. I like don't get me wrong. I, lo- I love this campaign, but um, you know, both this one and Doom Forgotten Realms, which are the only ones I've played 1 to 20, I think. Uh, um towards the end of it it was like, okay, Let's go ahead and uh, knock it out and get it done. But, yeah, well, I, I was actually a conversation between me and Todd near the end. Was uh, he was saying that my later later ones were you know maybe too short, and I was you know I was saying that you don't want to fight, you know you don't want to fight a yeah, bunch the, of the minions other, and stuff. The like other that. thing is, is, especially if you're a high level caster, at the end of the game when you're like, and I'm multi class, so for me it's like. 17th level and higher there's a bunch of options that are really game breaking and it's like you got to purposely not take those options to still have fun like you know force yeah. cage for example so yeah. i didn't have that on my spell list but if i did like we could have put a force cage around that tyrannosaurus and just walk around and healed ourselves up to full and then you know attacked him from outside the force cage kind of thing and yeah um, yeah force cage it definitely is one of the spells i'm hoping that they're going to uh, change yeah, but there's a lot of there's a lot of things like that you, you could do. I mean, one could argue that I mean, Joy was running around with a 28 armor class in that in that battle before shield. So, you know, about how many hit points? 28 AC. 28 
28 before shield. Oh, How do you oh, get that? Like, I don't even Robo, know. Ma Robo magic the items. Yeah, mo magic items. That's how, I mean. Yeah, Robo the I'm 20 decks, 20 and 12. All right. I had, a, yeah. I, had a I had an 18 decks, which gave me a 19 with a Robe of the Ar Archmage. In Blade Song, that's 24. Haste it is 26. Tasha's Otherworldly Guys is 28. And then Shield on top of that would be would be like 33. So and Kazgroff would have hit me, and if he hit me like four times, I would have died because they have no hit points. But <laughs> but well, yeah, he didn't have his resistance he, he to, either. So yeah, that uh... he, even he has to roll like a 14 to hit me. Yeah. And and you know, and I and I can and I can do things like trade spell slots for hit points. So, you know, there's a lot of um there's a lot of uh yeah, and I had resistance. I had immunity to fire damage, uh, which I didn't tell you, Darren, because I didn't want you to metagame it, even <laughs> though I was blinked out. <laughs> so I let you think the reason I didn't take damage is because I was blinked out, but I think it was actually because I was immune to fire. Yeah. But the um. And and with all that, you healed the paladin. <laughs> yeah, that's like all I did that game was 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 heal people pretty much. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad. I was worried about. Making Kazgaroth kind of want so one dimensional that I was worried it was he going to be a challenge, but uh, I thought that he actually was. Then he was just a oh, well, it might not have been, but seeing the opportunity to make him more challenging by healing the king or going <laughs> yeah, at, having two, saying, having like, two players go heal the king. Yeah, well, losing forty percent okay. of your let's, party. <laughs> let's let's back it up. I stay there. He tail wipes me. I'm down because he goes Joy, before me. So he heals you. So the net effect is absolutely no change. I'm down for the entire fight. Yeah, yeah, so, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I would... I, I, you know, after that first time when I used Killing Word, I was giving you like my heaviest potions, which yeah. you know the only healing spells I have are Cure Wounds and Cure Light Wounds. So Cure Wounds, that's like a that's like a ninth level s slot to equal a potion of Supreme Healing. So it's not like I was giving you like as many hit points as I could, and he was oh, still yeah. taking. Were you already out of lay hands? What's that? I was wondering if it was already out of lay on hands. Me? Yeah. I had. I still had it. I was. Wow. Uh, He'd never got before to use I it. got hit, taken down. My plan was to heal the queen, head towards that, and as long as he didn't attack me, my next turn was I heal and get into combat. With a hundred hit points, he did I get his. Up. He did get his fire breath back three yep. times in a row. So yeah, yeah, yeah he did. and he. I think he hit me <laughs> two. Of, yeah, two of those turns, and I don't have a great deck save. So here's a hundred and twenty hit points. Okay, well I'm dead. Here's yeah. hundred and twenty hit points. Oh look, I'm dead. <laughs> I had a so, hundred hit point heal. We never got. I would that. like to. I would like to congratulate Talia for killing the big bad. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, we, I mean, they were just there to distract, right? <laughs> yeah, we right. took all the hits and you did all the damage. I mean, I almost never got hit, so it was great. I I did finger him, uh, and then I, I did. I, I did. I still got I eleven max hit points. Yeah, I don't think I <laughs> I got hit at all in any of the twenty battles. So I don't think I lost. I still got all my like extra hit points from Heroes Feast and all my temp hit points from um, the the thing that. Devanith does. One right before but, this, he ate through two dragons that had resistance. So they, they took a lot of damage. Yeah, didn't you have a, a lot. Didn't you have a scroll of the Blade of Disaster, the ninth level? I did have weapon? I did have that. And um, but that's concentration. And once he threw that fire breath for 130 hit points, I, I mean, that would one shot joy with so and she's not going to make the save because she's not proficient in deck saves, even though she has a 19. So um, and even with absorb elements, that would two shot joy um, like every time. So after he did that, I cast Tasha's Otherworldly Guys as my concentration spell. Um, but I didn't cast it till late. It was like the third round before I actually cast a concentration spell this particular fight, this last fight. But I was waiting to see. Because I had like different options, I was waiting to see which ones he used before I decided on that. One yeah. one set of battles I really liked was I think we were going through the castle and it was like four CR twenty plus encounters in a row. That one was fun because uh, it kind of forced you not to 
use all your spells on on one battle. Oh, was that the uh, the pit fiend, the leviathan, and the um, demi lich? Yeah, all three of them were awesome. What was Cascross' intel save, Darren? Uh, his int save is 15. 14, 15. Yeah. Oh. So that was his lowest stat, so, was his intelligence. So, <laughs> nice. Plus yeah. 14. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, I, so I like tried to use Tasha's mind whip in there a couple of times just to probe him. I could have done more damage with like psychic no, actually, lands. Wisdom was his I, lowest. You know, I apologize. Wisdom was his lowest save. Int was close to it. But I was I hoping, mean, you know, usually intelligence saves are low, and I was hoping if he, like, failed one of them and had to use a legendary, then I would, like, well, if I got a chance where I wasn't healing people, I would have used, like, Psychic Lance. But you guys do more damage than I do. Yeah, I'm more of a, you know, get in somebody's way and have lots of different options character. I, I think the hardest battle we ever, that Tilly ever went through was underwater, that stupid Myrmidon, and would just hold me and drown me over and over and over again. Oh, yeah. away. Like, I thought that was it. Like, that, I thought, okay, new character time. Oh, that, that was, was the, uh, that was just a, the water elemental. Yeah, just a so fucking pool. water elemental almost like, yeah. killed me. It was just so yeah. bad. Well, it was also um, bad that, was, that, that was a, um, that was a, uh, he was trying to take you into the uh, storm. plane of water. Yeah, yeah, he, was, he kept trying to take me off the map there. Um, I will say that for Kazgaroth, if you wanted to like amp him up for people like us who like to kind of like you know get as most as we can out of our characters, looking at his character sheet because I buy everything that you make, Darren. Um, <laughs> fire breath. I would say recharge on four to six instead of five to six. Um, I wanted I to give say... him a teleport is what I really wanted to give him. Ooh, that yeah. teleport would be good because then you don't need a fly speed either. You could give him a fly speed too, is what I was thinking. Yeah. So, so the battle and, I really like. Sentinel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Sentinel. And Sentinel. Oh, God. The, bat the battle I I really liked in this campaign, it, and I think we were just fifth level, but Joy was multi class, so she didn't get that big jump that you normally get with fifth level. And uh, we were fighting this hobgoblin chief guy, and and at that point Joy couldn't do like any damage at all. Great in guard. But she could have, a, yeah, she could have a screaming high armor class. And I really like, I had a lot of fun in that battle because I think most, and she can move through enemy squares because she's a halfling. And I spent most of that battle using the help action and Talea would like come in from out, out of the room and, and like shoot someone with an arrow or throw one of her daggers at someone. <laughs> I really, I really enjoyed that battle. It was like, that was doing a lot more for us, I think, than if I had attacked at that point. Yeah, I think the teamwork in this in this group has been really good. Like we've 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 played off each other's skills and made sacrifices, knowing that that the better option is to do that. Yeah, it's been really good. Yeah, that's better than some for sure. Yeah, this is oh. really fun, Darren. I think this is a really great, uh, great, great campaign. I I love the lore too. Like the compendium, also. I, the reason I why I recommended it because I like the the area. You've expanded around an area that no one's really done, and so if you did more, like an extra compendium to prolong the adventure because the lore is so rich, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, well, Douglas uh, Douglas Niles did the original one, so it was actually, I think, was it the original or second second? I think it's the first Splat book that came out for Forgotten Realms. Yeah, if I remember right, it was back. Uh, it was like one of the first. Douglas Niles did it, and uh, then after that, no one touched it ever again, <laughs> other than uh, some books in the you know, uh, some some books were written about it as well. That mm -hmm. was that was about it. Then they left it alone, and I I loved it. I've always loved the Moon Shays. Um, I bought that because I was playing D and D way back then, you know, and I so I, I bought that. I wasn't a fan of the Forgotten Realms when it came out, to be honest. Wasn't a giant fan, but I loved the Moon Shays. That was the part of the realms that I actually did quite enjoy. So it's been a long time coming. Me uh, doing a campaign in here for sure. But yeah, the yeah. lore is so rich. There's so much stuff there. It's so fun. Yeah, I think so I fun. I think I read the second trilogy, but not the the first one that he that he did. I don't think I read Dark Walker on Moonshay. Hmm. Uh, so, unrelated to what you guys were speaking, what's every who's coming into the new one or who's not? I think coming everybody, in? everyone's already made characters except you, Todd. 
Oh, I've made a character. I just haven't oh. joined it to the group, the campaign. <laughs> so I was going to ask to make sure that we actually have some coverage because I could always change what I was doing. All right, I'm going to stop the stream now that we've moved on to other subjects. <laughs> okay. All right. So in the uh, 